Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make a block that's called Northern Lights. And I'm going to make two simultaneously because I feel like that was working a little bit better for me. Even if I'm not making the Harry Potter one, which this is not the layout for it, so I'm not. Um, so I'm going to make one out of these two fabrics. These are both fat quarters from Walmart from this year. And I had this left over from last year. And I'm making one out of these two. So... Anyways, out of each fabric, you're going to need one strip that is two and a half inches by 11 inches. And that's giving me some leadway to trim some off if I need it or if I sew it a little wrong or whatever. And then you'll need two five by five squares. So first we're going to do, we're just going to lay that to the side. We're going to make half square triangles out of that in a little bit. So first, we're just going to lay these together, and I'm going to sew them right down the side. Must have cut that one a little bit bigger, but it'll be all right in the end. Maybe I cut it a little crooked, but again, whatever. We're just going to pin this down, and then we'll sew it all the way down, and then you will have this. So we're going to iron this open. This is obviously my other one. I find it's easier for me if I don't have to pause the video every time I have a step to do. And I tried sewing on camera, but I have to move everything to do that. And it wasn't fun, to tell you the truth. So, all right. So we iron that open. Now this is four and a half inches across because we sewed our two, our two, two and a half inch sides together. No, we sewed our 11 and a half inch sides together. So we, have, these are each two and a quarter now. So now we're going to cut them into four inch. No, we're not. We're going to cut them into four and a half inch strips. To do that, we're going to line this up. We're going to take the middle line here. We're going to take this three line because that's the one that's there. And this is a bit dark. You might not be able to see it, but I'm lining my three inch up right on the sewn line there, the seam line. And I'm going to line... See how this one is right there? And this one's also, if you followed it, it would be straight across there. So we're going to slice this off and make it even. So now we have a nice smooth line to start. Now we're going to cut at the two and a half inch. We're again going to line up that line across there. Well, we'll do the three line because that's what I did. And we're going to line the two and a half inch line and then dots down here. And it'll go straight down. Well, if I can keep it from moving. And we're going to do that four times. And if you think you're going to need more or you cut a little wonky sometimes maybe, go ahead and do it. Do your your strip a little longer than 11 inches do it 12 an extra two inches is a great uh surplus that you won't waste too much me i don't waste anything that's going in my pillow so it doesn't matter for me so now we're going to take these and we're going to make four patches so we're going to lay these both out like this so we'll fold that over I gotta re iron that, but it'll be all right. And we'll pin it right there and at the end. I have stopped pinning at the beginning because I line it up pretty good there when I put it in the sewing machine. So I am at the point where I don't pin at the beginning anymore. It's just natural to me. So, but feel free to pin at the beginning if you need it. I did for a long time. Okay. one at the end so now we're just going to lay those to the side and next we're going to do this because i'm i'm starting to show you in steps the way i would i do it naturally rather than step by step and if you guys don't like that please feel free to let me know because i can always go back to doing them one block at a time but i find it's easier for me to do every step i can and then sew them all up at the same time 
rather than do like the four patches and then come back and do this because then more trips to the sewing machine. So this is how I really sew. But if you'd like me to teach you the other way, please let me know. So for this half square triangle, just lined it up corner to corner. And now I'm going to lay these face to face and sew a quarter inch down on either side of the line. And I've done that also. Let me grab that real quick. Give me one second. I'm going to get this started because I'm just sewing, chain sewing. Just need to get it off there. Chain sewing is really well, I like it. So now we're just going to, this is the same thing, just the other fabrics. So now we're just going to sew right down, or so we're going to cut right on that line I've drawn. Right down through. Now, I need the ironing mat. Just going to, nope, we're going to iron them to the dark side. I don't know that it would hurt to iron them to either side, but it's just habit for me, so that's what I do. All right, so now we're going to trim these up. Okay, now we're going to trim it up. And we need these to be four and a half because our four patches are going to be four and a half. That way all our blocks are the same size before we put them together. So you're going to lay this, line up the diagonal as close to this edge and this one as you can get with it still being on the diagonal line. And we're just going to slice right down through and then flip it around. And now we're going to line up the diagonal and the four and a half inch corner. And that should line up your four and a half inch line here and here. Press it down. Slice it off. And there you have it. I'll go ahead and do the other one for you. And watch me do it if you'd like. That is these my iron today must not be hot enough. So we're going to line up the diagonal again as close to the edges as possible without going over. You still want to trim a little bit off of it. But very little. Spin it around. Line up the diagonal and the four and a half inch corner. And then it will automatically line up the other four inch line, four and a half inch lines. I'm sorry. So we're just going to slice it off. All right. So that is so far what well, all we have done so far is the two half square triangles. I'm going to go sew up the rest of that stuff and then I'll be back to show you the next step. All right. So I did uh, it. I four. I've sewn my four patches up. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're just going to open those up. Beautiful. I really like this fabric. I wasn't sure I'd find anything to make with it, but I did. I shouldn't have worried. I always find something to make. So now we're going to lay the block out. And I want the dark one to be on the outside. So we're going to lay them like that. And then like this. However, if you wanted it to be the other way, just turn everything. And there's the opposite way. So feel free to do whatever you like. It is your block. So now I'm just going to sew these two together and these two together. And I've actually done that with, well, let me pin these because, well, I want to. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to pin them right there in the middle. And one at the end. So that's all I do now. And then... This one. One up in the middle. And one at the end. Again, if you want to do the beginning, do the beginning. Do not, uh, not do it just because I'm not doing it now. Do what's right for you. 
Sorry about that. I just had to get the other one off. Let me fold it open or iron it open. Now I'm going to iron it towards this side because then I know it's lighter, but then there's not so much bulk on the other side. So there's our two pieces and now we're going to lay it back out and you want your, I want my dark corners going outside. So this forms kind of like a little bow. I'm not, I'm not sure what they wanted it to be, but so we're just going to fold these over, pin it. And this one's a bit longer. So I am actually going to pin the middle of the end and I will tuck this up and I will pin it here at this one too. And I'm going to sew that up and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've done that. So here we have it. I really like this fabric together. And I've done them both. Let me trim those threads off. So I have a couple things to run by, y'all. I have a Cricut also, and I was wondering if you'd be interested in those kind of videos. And I also thought about doing live streams. Is that something y'all would be interested in? Please let me know. So now, to lay it out, this is another reason why I thought I'll do two blocks. Even though they're not the same pattern, I can lay them side by side and show you different ways they would go together. So you could lay this just like this. Or if you did the same fabric there, you could lay them like this. And it would make a secondary diamond type square there. I mean, I... I'm not laying mine next to each other. I'm not making this into one blanket. Uh, but please let me know what you think. So this finishes at eight and a half. I will have to do a little trimming there. See, that was the one that I cut it a little bit off. But anyways, actually I'll trim it up right now. And to do that, all I'm going to do is line up this line right here. Because that's the one there, that three line. I'm gonna line it up straight across there. And that makes it straight across down here. And I'm gonna line it up with that line right there. And then I'll just slice that off. And it makes it smooth right across there. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you make the block and love it. And I'll see you in the next video.